Okay, guys. We are uh, leaving my mother-in-law's in Naples, where we bugged out to for Hurricane Ian. And we are going to attempt to drive home. It has been less than 24 hours since the eye of Hurricane Ian passed right over our house. And I'm terrified to see what our house is going to look like or if we even still have a house left. So these houses here obviously fared very well, but the winds never got over 100 miles per hour here and there was zero risk of storm surge, which is why I made the last minute decision for us to bug out. This storm was not supposed to intensify to a category, well, close to a category five. I, it hit as about as strong of a category four as you can have with max sustained winds of 155 miles per hour, only two miles per hour from reaching category five. Strength on the Saffir Simpson scale I knew that this was going to be a, a shit show of a storm. And uh, it obviously ended up being worse than I ever could have imagined. I have been told that there were gusts at our house that exceeded 190 miles per hour. So... Also, preliminary reports are saying everyone in Cape Coral sustained damage. Guys, this has been just absolutely, look at this, look at the devastation here. And the, it wasn't even that bad here. And they still have power. Guys, this is, this is so surreal. Apparently, all of the barrier islands, Sanibel, Captiva, Pine Island, Matt Lachey, uh, Boquilia, they're Pine all- Pine Island is even where we went and we got sandbags from Triple P. Yeah, they're all underwater. Um, the Sanibel Causeway, which is the only way to get to Sanibel and Captiva from the mainland, the bridge is gone. Like, it's literally just fucking gone. I mean, I really don't know how that's possible, but um, it is, it's gone. They were talking, we haven't seen any of the images yet. I'm getting all of my news just from the radio, but they were talking about bringing in dynamite to finish demolishing the bridge because there's still some small portions of the bridge that are sticking up, but the fucking bridge is just gone. Um, Sanibel and Captiva are completely underwater. The Sanibel Lighthouse, I've been told, is gone. They, uh... Looting has begun. Oh, yeah, some low-life thugs decided they were gonna loot. Which is why you never go anywhere without a firearm with disasters like this. But, um... Yeah, I, I, I can't even begin to imagine how many people may have perished on those islands. I, I hope I'm wrong, but also, the islands are just fucking hey, gone. P, also preliminary reports are there's nowhere safe for helicopters to land in Southwest Florida. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not true. That is what the radio just said. There's, there's that, I don't believe that. I do, I do not believe that. Helicopters, the, these guys, lots of these guys were Vietnam vets. They land in fucking war zones. They'll find a spot. I don't believe that. That's just media hype. Bullshit. Um, so, yeah. The water over here. If I see anything substantial worth recording, like, uh, like this, this road here is still flooded, it looks like. I'll, uh, I'll film part of our drive back to the house. And we'll see what devastation awaits. So we're still trying to get home, guys. Um, just all kinds of devastation and damage. Signs knocked over. Um, everything shut down. Everyone 
is on the road, it looks like they all have the, the same idea that I do, just trying to get back to their house. We just saw a couple of uh, helicopters flying. Um, there was one Chinook and a Black Hawk, and they were heading from uh, Fort Myers, Southwest Florida International Airport to the, to the west. I can only assume they were heading out to the islands uh, to rescue people. I don't have confirmation yet, but I heard that there's quite a few people on the islands that may have survived and they're in like dire need of rescue. So I guess the rescue efforts are finally underway. This, um, you re really wouldn't even know there was a disaster here by looking because the building is standing, but of course it's abandoned and everything is closed up. It's, it's crazy. Um, no power, no nothing. Well, as we make our way further to the west, closer to the Gulf of Mexico, the damage seems to be increasing ever so slowly. I had to swerve to miss a damn tree in the middle of the road. So there's that. This all kinds of damages, guys. There's a major roof damage on that house. Unbelievable. Car dealership is trashed. I don't think they're gonna be selling too many cars today. Well, Mrs. Triple P and I were thinking of replacing our roof with a metal roof. We might wanna think about that again, honey. Metal roof didn't fare very well in the storm either. Well, it looks like the bridge is open. So this is the bridge, guys, that runs from Fort Myers to Cape Coral. It's about, a, I don't know, maybe a two or a three mile long bridge. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is some damage over there. All of these homes are multi-million dollar homes, guys. Look at this. What do you what do you see in the water? No boats. This is this is so eerie, guys. I've never crossed this bridge and not seen somebody in this river boating ever. Oh, the one boat that's always out there is still there. Did it did survive? That big ship? Yeah. This is crazy. Absolutely nuts. Not one boat. Well, it looks like the uh, National Guard is here. Small convoy here of some National Guard vehicles that are uh, obviously here to assist with the uh, search and rescue and rebuilding efforts. This is all just absolutely crazy. It's, uh, it's mind-blowing, guys. The uh, whole island of Sanibel is destroyed, Captiva is destroyed, the Sanibel Causeway, from what I understand, is gone. I, I have heard nothing yet about how much casualties, human casualties there were, but, um, man. Pool cage is destroyed. Fences are destroyed. As we go further west towards our home, we're definitely noticing an increase in, uh, in damages here. Here comes a helicopter. <gasps> There's a uh, National Guard helicopter. I think it's gonna be a Black Hawk. It's coming back from the islands. My guess is it's probably got several uh, Several people on it that just got rescued. It's debris everywhere. Looks like someone lost part of their fence over there. More fucked up stoplights. And I think Home Depot is open. 
Home Depot is going to make a lot of money today and for the next couple of weeks. That's for sure. It's kind of weird. Like, I almost lost track of where I was because there's no fucking signs on the streets. All the signs are blown off. But, um, we're probably just less than five minutes away. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a, uh, structure that's really fucked up and caved in. Pool, I think that's a pool cage. Just unbelievable. More trees blown over and knocked down, guys. Wow. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. This right now is basically 24 hours after the storm has passed. Good grief. That used to be a fence. Oh my God. Oh my God. That used to be a fence. That used to be a roof. That used to be a fence. It looks like a freaking bomb went off in here. Look at that house, honey. Oh my gosh. Oh. Good grief, everybody. Wow. wow. Look at that power line. Yeah, it is power. It's top. It's about to topple over. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Um <laughs> Yeah, that does not look, not look like, like anything that I want to stay underneath for very long. I I don't even I don't even realize this hasn't even hit me yet. This is like, um, I, I don't know. This is like a scene out of The Walking Dead where everything is just in ruins. I. Truly, I cannot believe you were going to drive over this. I truly am speechless. I am at a loss for words. This is just crazy. I'm, um, I am fucking speechless. There's the water plant right there. I am just speechless. And beyond words. Well, my mailbox is gone. Extensive palm tree damage. I'm pretty sure my roof is fucked up. I've got shingles laying in my front yard. Welcome to the house of Triple P, or at least what's left of it. Looks like my eagle got knocked the fuck off his pedestal. Now let's take a walk out back. That used to be my fence. Guess I don't have to worry about opening up the fucking gate. here earlier and uh, he did some cleaning up already let's see what kind of damage we got to the pool cage more shingles this side of the 
full cage seems to be intact. More fence pieces. I was one of the only people in the entire subdivision that sandbagged. All of my pool furniture brought, got brought back in. I sandbagged every single opening into the house. Imagine that, my 75 inch outdoor TV managed to stay attached. That would be the sliding door that goes into my living room. My pool is already turning green. Uh, oh yeah, my fence is fucked. My fence is beyond fucked. Oh my God. I was also one of the only people that had the genius idea to remove both screen doors off of my pool enclosure. My thought on that was if I take the screen doors off, the wind will vent through the enclosure much, much easier. And it looks like I have zero damage to my screen enclosure. Oh, there's a shingle up there, Mrs. Triple P. Okay. Ha! It looks like our outdoor speakers, our outdoor sound system managed to stay attached. Our lights are... Pool, pool cage lights stayed attached. <sighs> Taking off the screen doors worked. Huh? Taking off the screen doors worked. You have to get a grandma here on our cage. Where? Where? Um, no, 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 no. Right here. The screws came out. Oh, all right. So I lost a couple of screws. Oh, I lost a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um didn't get out of it completely still, still standing still got damage to it not as bad as everyone else though good god guys look at that the force that this took is just mind blowing. My son was here earlier and started stacking up the fence panels. Uh, I'm trying to see where my roof damage is at. Sun stacked up all of the fence pieces for me before I got here. This is just nuts. There's what's left of my gate. Wow. This used to be a 12 foot double gate. Unbelievable.